Okay guys, um, today I am going to be showing you how to do a Colton Dock in the uh, PMDG 737 NGX4 FSX, uh, FS2004 I'm uh, not too sure about x -plane, but whatever um, So today I've got a friend with me as he is learning as well So I thought I may take the opportunity hello? to, as you can see he just said hello so I thought I'd take the opportunity to record the video as it's been getting on my nerves trying to record this for a long time as well. So, um, first off, we're going to go to the overhead panel. Um, if you don't have to get the air pressure 7, or you can look up over there. Um, shift 7, okay. Uh, so, we are going to turn on our battery, which is over here on our power. So we're just gonna flip this black keep down battery. We're gonna flick this black switch. Oh black cover, should I say. And now we're gonna go down to our APU which is down here and double click it. If you get a fault, just click it once more again so it starts. So we are gonna get a low oil oil pressure and then that gauge is gonna go up to about eight or nine and then settle around four. Okay, so whilst that is starting, we are going to ooh, do, 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 turn on our emergency lights, which is going to turn on after the APU has started. Um, really, we are going to wait for the APU to start, otherwise nothing really is going to work. Um, so, as you can see, it's starting to settle down now. It's going to go to a gauge of 4. Just waiting, just waiting, just waiting, and bingo. Okay, as you can see, a blue light is turned on now, and we are going to click these two APU gens. Okay, so now we're going to go up to the top and turn on our window heat, and our probe heat, and, well, both of the probe heats, so they don't freeze up especially and now we're going to turn on our hydraulic pumps and our air conditioning okay so our position lights are on uh, steady and we're going to turn on anti-collision lights okay so now that is done that is really all we need for the overhead for now. Uh, now that it's done, as we can see, both our CDUs are on. So we're just going <coughs> to click clear that. Close the CDU. Get rid of the master caution. So now everything has really been set up up there. We are going to bring up our upper overhead panel, which is Shift 8. Or right up the very top. And we are going to switch these two nav switches by here to nav. And wait for those on DC lights to become a line. And then wait for them to flash. Uh, the thing is with the IRS alignment, they can take 30 minutes if you set them to become 30 minutes to align the IRS. But for the video uh, purposes, I'm going to put it on instant. So, we're going to go to the CDU now, they're both blinking, and clear that into IRS position. We are going to click FMC now, and as we are on the ident page default, or by default, sorry, we are going to click position in it, and not root. Um, so... We can see our last position, which is our current position anyway. Uh, we are going to click the by the side of that, and uh, you will always have that there anyway. And we are going to click underneath the set IRS position, or sorry, beside it. So as we can see now, our IRS has aligned. We can close that now. We don't need it. Um, so, okay. We're going to enter in our reference airport. For me, it's Birmingham, so it's Echo Golf Bravo Bravo. So we're going to click that on the side of the reference airport. Um, right, okay. So, now everything's set up there and everything's set up here. 
we can actually get on with doing the uh, flight plan. So now we click the route page and as we can see Echo Golf Bravo Bravo is here and so we're going to click that next to the origin and today I'm going to be flying to uh, Glasgow in Scotland and so the arrival uh, ICAO code is Echo Golf Papa Foxtrot and we're going to click that next to the destination flight number is GAV50 as that is my pilot uh, number for this airline so we're going to click next page and as we can see that this page is blank not to worry we're going to fill this in uh, so we are going to type in T and T as our first waypoint first waypoints are always or should always be direct so waypoints go on the right airways go on the left uh, so we're going to click the on the first right side and as we can see we got a list of waypoints these are sorted by ooh, sorted by distance from airport or from the airport should I say and we are going to click on the top left one and uh, now we type in our first airway which is which goes in on the left and then we go from airway to waypoint airway waypoint etc etc so our first airway is going to be Mike 8 68 and Tango Indigo Papa Indigo Lima as our first waypoint or second waypoint sorry November 57 is going to be our second airway and Papa Oscar Lima is going to be our third waypoint so you get the drift by now November 601 is our next airway and Margo is our last waypoint so we don't put the uh, arrival ICAO in the RTE page here so now what we're going to do is we're going to click activate and execute uh, so now we are going to go to the departure and arrivals so ATC would usually assign all this for you but for demonstration purposes today I'm just going to go for runway 15 on a uh, on a Trent Golf or Trent 2 Golf departure or SID and we're going to click execute on that um, we're going to go back to the departure and arrivals page now and as I said ATC would usually assign this for you as well so we are going to fly straight into ILS runway 05 uh, so execute and now we are going to go to our progress page right here so click there okay turns out I forgot to actually oh Christ right uh, thanks. so the route and all that is set up so we're gonna go to our uh, init ref double click zero fuel weight we're gonna do three reserves and a cost index of 50 just for demonstration purposes cruise altitude 15,000 feet that's 1,500 but okay so 15,000 feet as you can see white light execution uh, we're not gonna press that yet we're gonna type in a transition altitude 6,000 feet as it, this is Birmingham so now we are going to execute and now on our progress page we have a fuel so fuel uh, okay so measure distance or the differences in the fuel so 45.6 and 40.7 so that's about five pounds difference or five thousand pounds difference sorry and so on that we add about three thousand pounds reserves so that's six seven eight eight thousand pounds and we are going to add about four thousand pounds just to be sure so that's about twelve thousand uh, pounds so we're going to go to menu FS actions fuel and twelve thousand um, pounds okay so we go back to our progress the fuel has changed to 
Okay, so we're, now we're going to go to our init ref, and one limit, and take off. So take off flaps is going to be 5, double click the center of gravity. And now we're going to type in V1 of rotate at V2 on the side. Just get rid of that arrow there. Nothing to worry about. So now we're going to turn on our auto throttle and both flight directors. Click L nav and V nav. Set our V2 speed and our speed hold, which is 143. And we're going to go down to our trim and set that to the trim in the uh, CDU, which is 4.68 for us today. So that's 4.34, 4.40, 4.43, and you catch the drift. Uh, sometimes they'll even go as high as like 5, depending on how much fuel is in the aircraft. Okay, now that should be about 4.68. Uh, okay. Um, uh, so our cruise altitude, now we're going to put in our altitude hold. Not that fast. Jesus. So now we are going to go over to our cabin pressure, which is over here, and set that to 1500. Or 15,000, sorry. Um, we're gonna set our barometer by pressing B. <laughs> this doesn't really matter. Well, it does matter, but you know. Uh, okay. So now we're gonna go to our menu on our on our CDU, FS actions, ground connections, and remove our chocks. We're gonna go back to our legs page here, and now here's where we have our fun. Set our auto brake to RTO. Just set flaps to 5 and set our TCAS on, which is down here. Don't forget to test it. Okay, everything checks out. So now we're going to turn on our fuel pumps. Uh, don't forget our yaw damper on. Right, so we're going to commence our... Oh, no, we're not going to commence our pushback just yet. We're going to see this uh, switch here in the middle. We're going to switch that back one, so it's pointed in the middle. And we are going to start engine two with a GRND on commence pushback. So pull that back to ground and push back. So now we go down to this monitor down here and monitor N2 gauge which is here um, two seconds so when that gets to 21% we are going to turn on our fuel beneath our throttle quadrant Oh, don't forget to turn off our air conditioning, otherwise they won't go past 18%. So that's 22. So wait for the thing to spoil up, or the gauges to spoil up now. Make sure your throttle's cut okay, that's done enough. Uh, so engine 1 to ground and we are going to monitor the N2 gauge again so 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 fuel on so we have really finished our pushback but okay hold our brakes be careful not to flip our aircraft. Uh, turn on our taxi lights, turn on our local lights and wing lights, and set our position. Keep that. Put that on off now so we can taxi. When we get to the end of the taxi, we turn that on to strobe. 
and when we get past 10,000 feet we turn off our landing lights and our wing lights and our logo lights landing lights you turn on on the tax on the uh, runway and taxi lights off on the runway <sighs> okay Ugh. so we're gonna get rid of this flight plan now press uh, B to make sure our barometer is set okay so uh, fuel is on everything is on we're gonna turn back on our air conditioning and now we're going to turn on our engine generators by here and we are going to turn off, turn off our APU as you can see everything checks out now and uh, we are ready to go for flight so uh, thanks for watching and uh, yeah hope to see you in one of my next videos and if you liked please leave a like and uh, yeah uh, thanks for watching and good bye